One of the most annoying things in Rust is when you get back from an oil rig or a cargo run as a solo, and you realize you don't have enough inventory space to hold all the items in the front of your rib. Because of this, you're forced to prioritize only the best items, and you end up leaving some stuff behind. Usually, by the time you get back, a grub had already came and either grabbed all the items from the front of your rib or just taken your rib entirely. Because of this, a lot of people decide to build a boat base, but the problem with that is, ribs don't fit in traditional boat bases. They're not even close to fitting in garage doors, and because of this, I'm introducing you to the perfect rib boat base. Using a stone wall gate to make the entrance to the boat base, you can fit a rib and two small boats inside. There's also plenty of storage with boxes and bags with locker kits so you can respawn and go back to rig or cargo if you die. Coming up to the front of the base, you're just greeted with three single doors. You can upgrade these to armored if you want a little bit of security, but I don't think it's necessary. Once you get into the main part of the base, you can see you can fit a rib and two small boats with the TC behind this armored window right here. On the right over here, we have four large boxes, a locker, and three sleeping bags. And it's mirrored over on this side for even more storage and kits. Over here, we have the gate that allows you to get your boats in and out. And potentially, you can swap out one of these small boats for a submarine. When choosing a build location for this boat base, the actual beach itself doesn't matter too much. What's more important is that the water doesn't get too deep or too shallow too quickly. You want a pretty average beach. When placing the stone gate for your main entrance, you want to make sure you place it about halfway in the water as I do right here. And once you put it down, this little slit should be just above the water level. You're better off placing this a little too shallow than a little too deep, so just keep that in mind when you're putting it down. Now we're going to start by placing our first foundation down. This is how the rest of your base is going to be built off, so try to make sure this is accurate. Just above the water level, you want to line it up with the edge of the gate right here. As you can see, these two triangles should line up with the corners. Upgrade those to stone, and it's pretty close. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Now we're going to build out four triangles on each side. Two more squares, and build out three triangles on the end. Put those there for convenience, and now we're going to upgrade all of the triangles to stone. Make sure to lock this gate. Now for these first two walls closest to the gate, you might want to test down if you can place these before upgrading everything to stone, because if you build too close to the wall, you won't be able to place them. As you can see, I built them perfectly, and there's no gap in between the gate and the wall. Go ahead and upgrade everything to stone again. And put your door down. Now we're going to put a ceiling on. And upgrade everything to stone. Now that your base is secured, we're going to put our TC down. Just put a wall right there and put your TC right here. Now we're going to add two more door frames and put your doors in. Now we're going to put a window on here and put your window on. As you can see, there's no way for anyone to get in and out with this door shut. Coming in from the top, they can't slide in or anything like that as long as you build it right. Back inside, we're going to build our first side of the base. Again, this isn't too important that you copy it the way I do. You can really build whatever design you'd like. This is what I found most efficient, though. Put down a garage door in the middle here. Optionally, if you want to put a double door or even an armored double door, you can do that if you'd like. Now we're going to build our first loot room. Just a half wall with a shelf. 
and you can fit four large boxes in here. Going over to the other side, I like to put a locker and three bags over here, but if you think you need more storage, feel free to add another loot room. Locker fits in this corner. I found that you're pretty easily able to fit three sleeping bags in each side. If you want to fit more, you probably could, potentially by using beach towels, but three is pretty easy to do. Now we're going to go ahead and duplicate the same thing on the other side. Once that's done, you can go ahead and break all the twig in the middle, and you can start moving your boats inside. As you can see, once I get towards the end, you start swimming instead of walking, and maneuvering through the base is pretty easy. You can see driving a ribbon is super easy. You want to make sure it's pulled all the way forward, or sometimes the door won't close. No problems. As you can see, you can squeeze in two small boats in here, and again, potentially a submarine if you really need to. And with that, the base is done. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments, or join my Discord server to contact me more directly.